All right, so let's do a couple of your exercises because I'm sure you guys want to get physical. So let's go to howtocode.pages.dev slash images. If you go to this website and scroll down, you will see exercise one, image shapes. So here are the set of images that you're supposed to make. And here's the starter text file. You can hit download right here to download the text file or copy and paste this into Docs and Racket. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy this, go to Docs and Racket, hit control T and paste this in. All right. Before we get started, I just want to say that these exercises may prove a little difficult for those who have never programmed before. And that's okay. As long as you guys gave it a good swing for 15 to 30 minutes, then you guys can look at my solutions per problem guilt free. All right. Don't feel guilty about it. For those who are just going to kick back and just watch me and go, I don't need to do this. I'll just watch him do it and, you know, nod my head thinking I agree with the reasoning. Well, don't do that because it's only going to bite you back in the end. Because as my man Bruce used to say, if you want to learn how to swim, jump into the water. On dry land, no frame of mind is ever going to help you, right? Likewise, if you want to learn how to code, jump into Dr. Racket and face the dreaded wrath of the blinking cursor. And what the hell do I do? Right? You gotta face the, you know, face first, right in there. You may reference some old videos or this, you know, um, cheat sheet on how to work with images. And, but that's about it, all right? Good luck with the exercises, and here we go. So I forgot to mention that Dr. Racket also supports uh, pasting images in. So if you right click, go to copy image, go to Dr. Racket, paste this in. Well, here's our image, all right? So these are the results of all these problems, and you're expected to make these with HTTP slash image. So let's start with the first one. Problem one, make a stop sign using two HTTP slash image. All right, that's already imported for us. Use the regular polygon for the hexagon, and it links us to some documentation. So you should go visit that. I'm just going to open that up in a new tab right now. All right. And uh, you may need to rewind and refer back to old portions of this video and see if you can sort of pick out how to combine images in useful ways to accomplish these goals, all right? So it, see if you guys can beat me to the solution. I'm going to go over the answer in three, two, and one. All right, so let's make a stop sign. So it linked us to this documentation. Let's go see what it is. And as we scroll down, we see regular dash polygon 28 solid red. Let's just copy and paste that for the uh, hexagon. All right, paste this in, hit run, uh, save all files, sure. And we get this bottom um, red hexagon. I'm going to comment this first part out. Hopefully that's commented. All right, there we go. Put a semicolon in front of this image, if, if that's what you guys are wondering what's going on. All right, so now we need the text uh, stop. So uh, if you go back and rewind this video, well, you can see we made um, the text image McDonald's. So let's just do text of stop. So I'm going to copy and paste this into here. And instead of this, let's do stop. And the size, uh, it has to be smaller, say uh, 20. All right. So stop. So now let's just overlay that on top of this uh, highlight, both of these. Hit the open parentheses and then type in overlay. All right, hit enter to space it out and control R. And we don't see it. Hmm, what is wrong here? So maybe the order needs to be switched around, is my guess. Paste this here, hit control I to reformat your code, hit control R, and I see it. Uh, it's probably too small for you guys to see. Let me make it bigger. So let's say uh, 100, 100. All right, so this should be white. We're getting ever so closer. And there we go, hit run. All right, close enough. Let's just capitalize the strings to stop instead. All right, so that's mostly it. So let's move on to the next one. 
All right, so let's move on to problem 1.1. Make a danger slash warning sign with a triangle and an, ex and an exclamation mark. So this one right here. All right, so pause the video and see if you guys can beat me to the solution. So I'm gonna go over spoilers in three, two, and one. So here we go. So first we need an exclamation mark. So let's do text, exclamation mark. Let's do 100 and then black. Hit control R. There's my exclamation mark I need. Next thing I need is the triangle. So let's do a triangle, uh, 100. Uh, you guys can look back and forth to see what it takes and stuff. Uh, you guys don't have to memorize this, of course. Look in the documentation and stuff. So 100, hello, there we go. Hit control R. So we got an error. So triangle expects three arguments, but found only two. So 100 yellow. Ah, so I'm missing the mode. So we also have to give it the mode. So this is the third thing. So mm, solid. Hit control R. And there is our yellow solid triangle. Now all we need to do is put them on top of each other. So let's do overlay. So open parentheses, overlay. As you can see, it also closed the parentheses that we just typed in. So let me do that again. So shift nine and it's automatically entering the closing one. So what we know, so what we want to do is since we're going to overlay two images, we've got to wrap this ending parentheses all the way around. All right. So there we go. I'm going to hit control I that formats our code to make it look more neater and then hit control R to run. And there is our yellow warning sign. All right. So let's move on to 1.2. Make an isosceles trapezoid. So here's what it's supposed to look like. Pause the video and see if you guys can beat me to the solution. And three, two, and one. All right, so spoilers ahead. So let's see. This thing is comprised of two right triangles and a square. So let's do that. Right triangle, let's do 100 solid red. Okay. Uh, let's see, expects four arguments, but only found three parts. So it probably takes another side length, what I forgot. If you guys get these errors, well, you can always right click and find out what you're missing. Because we only gave it three things, and I was missing the extra side length, all right? Here we go. That's half of it. That's like this part right here. Let's get the square. Square. Square, if I spelled it right, I think. Solid and red. All right. There's our square. And lastly, let's do uh, the other right triangle. So right triangle, 100, solid, red. All right. Uh, triangle expects for arguments, filling three parts. What am I missing? I'm missing the other side length again. Okay. So those three are it. We're getting close, but not yet. So let's flip this bottom triangle right here horizontally. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to press shift nine and it should wrap it around parentheses. Now let's type in flip Horiz horizontal space, hit control R. All right. So now all we need to do is sort of beside those images. So let's do that. Open parentheses, beside. I need this to go all the way around these images. All right, hit control I to read down your code, control R to run, and we're close. They just need to be reordered. So let's just go here, this whole block, not this block, but this entire flip horizontal. Should go all the way up here. Whoops. And this here should go down here. All right, hit control R. And we got our trapezoid. All right, so let's move on to 1.3. Make a traffic light with yellow, red, yellow, and green bulbs and a black rectangular background. So this one right here. All right, so pause the video and see if you guys can take a swing at it. 
All right, so breaking down the problem into pieces. Um, let's do all the bulbs first, all right? So they're all circles. Circle, let's say, what was it? I want to say 100 solid um, red. All right, that's the first one. All right, cool. Let's do the second one. Circle 100 solid yellow. Okay, let's do the last one. Hit control R. Let's make this green. All right, so it needs a black background. So let's just make a rectangle. Rectangle. Um, let's see, so the width, I'll just make it 100. Um, 400 solid black. All right, that's a bit too thin. So let's just make that like 200. Looks close enough. So now all we need to do is uh, overlay them. So first, let's um, combine this red, yellow, and green one first. All right, let's do above and wrap these to this. All right, so instead of um, three images, right, as I highlight these images, one, two, and three, I wrapped it around and above. Let me just hit Control I. So can then, so can tabs in and space it out so it's more easy to see. Hit Control R. Even though you, it's going to be considered as one image, All right? So if I highlight it, it is one entire image. So all we got to do is slap this onto this one, and bing, bang, boom. So let's wrap these two onto an overlay. All right. So overlay. Delete this last one. I want this to go way around this one. Control I, did it be dent, hit Control R. And we're getting closer. We just gotta expand this rectangle a little more. Let's do three, let's do 250. It's taking a wild guess. And 500. A little taller. Let's do 700. All right, so that is the traffic light problem. Close enough. So now let's do the last problem. Uh, make a red checkered board pattern. So this part right here. All right, so see if you guys can beat me to the solution. I'm gonna go for spoilers in three, two, and one. So first, let's deconstruct this problem. Let's make a red, black, and then a black, red, and then just put one above the other. All right, so rectangle, let's do square actually. Square, since all the sides are the same. Let's do square, uh, one, let's do 50. And then solid, red, all right. There's our red square, let's do a black one. Black, there we go. So now let's just put these two beside each other. Beside. All right. There we go. That's part one. Let's do it. Let's copy and paste this and do it the other way around. All right. Instead of black, we're going to put that over here. And then a red one right there. So here's our first one and our second one. And now all we got to do is wrap them onto and above. Wrap these two whole these two whole things. Hit Control R to reindent. Run it, and there is our red checkered pattern. So there's another way you could have approached this. Instead of using above, you could have done above here, and then do the beside. So let me just do that really quick. That's another valid solution. Um, let's just make it down here. Let's do above square fifty solid red. And then um, square 50 solid black. Hit control R. Let's see if I spelled it right. Square. 
square. Oh my god, my spelling. Sorry. There we go. So that's the first part. And then we can just do the second part as the other side opposite. This one's black. This one's red. Hit control R. And now all we got to do is put these two beside each other. So let's just highlight these whole two images. Open a set of parentheses to wrap them around. Type in uh, beside. Hit control I to re-indent our code. And it's the same result. So here we did this horizontally and then put those two above each other. And for the second one, we did these two vertically and then put them beside each other. Two completely valid solutions, but two completely different ways of approaching the problem. All right, so that's about it for this one. You learned a lot today about basic shapes, transformations, combining images, text images, image properties, even though we didn't use this at all, but we'll probably go over it in a future exercise. You also learned how to go and read the documentation at racketlang.org. Uh, to sort of search for what you need. It's a lot to unravel in this. But if you're curious about the uh, solution file, well, it's on this website, howtocode.pages.dev. Click this answer, and you can click download this answer and check it out. But that's about it for this one, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, human. If you wish to interact with more of your kind, Join our Discord linked in the description or on screen. If you want to aid in my quest for world domination, consider hitting the sub button. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, thumbs down if you didn't. Any questions, comments, or suggestions, fire away below. Also, check out the annotations on screen for the next relevant video.